Uh, you know, obviously it was a great game. Uh, I, I you know, a lot of respect to JMU. We knew, uh, you know, they were one of the top two teams in the country the last two years. Um, we knew what we we knew what type of game it was going to be. We knew it was going to be a defensive game. It was going to come down to a couple of plays. Uh, I, I'm I'm proud of our defense. Um, you know, turn, getting the turnovers that we needed. Um, you know, just just keeping us in it when offensively we were, we were struggling at times. And then, you know, and, and we knew offensively we knew they have a great defense, and we were going to have to pick our times to to go. And, and you know, we we had enough scoring drives to to put it away. And uh, you know, again, I just can't say enough good things about how hard this team plays. And, and I just told them in the locker room that. You know, my favorite part of winning is we get to stay together another week and practice together. So I'm extremely proud of these guys. Right here. Okay, Coach, slide over here, and then we'll let you guys go four across here and question for the players. Yeah. Three timeouts, the fourth out. Yeah, I know you guys are both good ones this year. You know, just in, in those seconds before, you know, all I could think about was just Coach Preach's, you know, doing your job, especially with our defense. You know, things start to go wrong when you start to do more than your job. And, you know, our defense and our offense did their job the ball game. I felt like that was an opportunity to do my job, you know, contribute. So, really, you know, just sticking to what I knew. I knew Coach had confidence in me. I knew my teammates had confidence in me, and I gave me confidence in myself. It was more of a it excited. It, it definitely excited. It wasn't uh, – wasn't nervous. We try to block everything out as much as we can, but definitely a little bit shaky. Um, we just got to give it up to the defensive staff for preparing us hard all week, making sure they knew what we were getting ourselves into. And I also got to give credit to TJ Hall right here next to me in the defensive line, basically the front seven, constantly getting pressure, forcing him into bad situations. And I think that throw just, I think both of those throws just got away from me a little bit. I, I know he wants it back, but I'm just grateful for the opportunities to make some plays. What was interesting was that you were I think they just had momentum right off the gate with that long kick return to start the game. So that's going to work in their favor. But we knew we were in a dog fight um, all 60 minutes of the game. So I'm just proud of how our defense and our offense and special teams just never quit. Just played together, and that's how we won. Hey, Jesse, uh, you know, having a long stretch during the season where our defense was so dominant uh, scoring wise being a leader in the country, uh, scoring defense and total defense. We haven't had many opportunities like that where teams have actually came at us right away and, and put in the end zone. So, you know, it's more about just keeping our composure, knowing that eventually, you know, teams will get breaks and teams will make plays because it's, it's a high, high level of football right here. So, I mean, as long as we kept our composure like we did, we came back out, kept fighting, kept scratching, kept clawing. Like Ty said, I'm just proud of our defense. Our staff did a great job keeping our, us level-headed. And, um, you know, we kept fighting, and that's what we, we pride ourselves on, being the toughest guys on the field, and I think we proved that today. Yeah, um, I think the biggest I think the biggest drive of the game was um, really the defense stepping up, and after we turned the ball over in the first play of the, of the third quarter, I mean, the worst-case scenario you could think of, they stepped up, got three points, and then I think basically says it all about our team is when somebody makes the mistakes, I, I think we step up and – make up for it. So they got, they held them to three. We went down, scored uh, two touchdowns in a row. And, and that would, that really got us going. Yeah, I think we just stuck to what we knew. Um, we knew that the defense was, we said, you know, our defense is so good, you know, the game isn't, isn't going to get out of hand. So once we stopped pressing and just kind of, you know, got into a rhythm offensively, um, you know, we really got, got some stuff uh, clicking. Yeah, it wasn't even a question in mind that we were going to go for it, at least, you know, offensively. Just knowing that, like we said, like we have the defense behind us, we knew that they were going to get probably more than one score. You know, that's what happened, and then we had a chance to win the game. So that wasn't even, you know, a, 
uh, you know, a factor in a mod. Yeah, you know, um, we we like to say as as our guys when we get recruited and we when we come here, and our, our staff likes to say that we come here to play against the best and to compete at the highest level, and you know we just got a team that was back to back in the national championship game. One year they won it, one year they lost a tight one to North Dakota State. Now we get to go and play at home in one of the coolest atmospheres in college football against the defending champ. I don't know if you can ask for much more than that if you love this game and you know you love to play and compete. You can't ask for much more. We're just very excited. For sure. Um, Coach Hunt, his morning speech this morning was just like, be grateful for the opportunities that you're given. I think it's just another opportunity for us to take advantage of and show the nation who we really are. Because I feel like this team has something special amongst us, and I just can't wait. I'm excited. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. <clears throat> no. Not this move. Yeah. All right, Jeff. What? What did uh, the coach was explaining that that big pun with the three snap freeze and mm -hmm. stuff something they did straight up look the film? But what what did you see? Uh, it was the exact play. To be honest with you, we'd practiced that uh, a bunch of times this week. Um, it actually it, it beat us in practice on Friday. So, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, we ran it and it beat us. And uh, so we, you know, we had worked on it and, and our kids were, you know, and, and that's a situation of a game where you, you may expect that, you know. So uh, I give discredit to the, to the players who, uh, you know, the, the punt return team who, who just did a great job. They did what they were coached to do. They were ready. They swarmed and made the play. So, and I think it was obviously that was a, that was a huge play. But I think it helped that it kind of helped that we that, that we didn't have success against it during the week. Yeah. You know. They were drawing it back to the fourth down call. No doubt your mind during the formation of the goal there. Yeah, no, that's how we play. You know, and you know if, if it came back to bite us, it came back to bite us. But our kids know, you know, in that situation, it's one yard. You know, actually, I thought we had it on third down, but um, it's one yard to to really get a chance to put a strangle on the game. Um, and, and the reason we can do that is because I think everyone on the team, we had confidence in our defense, you know what I mean? And, and yet yeah, we got stopped and, and, and our defense, we went three and, they went three and out and we got the ball back. So uh, it's just the mentality of this team. You know, we're, we're going to do everything we can. If we're given a chance to, to win or, or, you know, win a game or win a play, we're going to do it. And, uh, you know, the, the end result kind of bailed, bailed me out, I guess, for, uh, for going for it. Well, we knew, you know, even going back to, to 2015, uh, they're a great special teams team. I mean, that was probably our biggest nightmare all week was preparing for their special teams. And, um, you know, both of their touchdowns uh, came off long returns. You know what I mean? Like, and the opening kickoff and then the punt return. So we spent a lot of time this week um, reviewing special teams, a lot of meeting time, a lot of extra time in practice, uh, just making sure we were sound against all that stuff because they do create you. They create a lot of headaches uh, with that. So. You know, we wanted to make sure that we were sound there. And luckily, luckily it paid off. I mean, Coach Eisen does just an unbelievable job with our special teams. And he had them, you know, he had them ready and confident and the kids made the play. They're good. <laughs> you, know, that's what I, you know, that's what I told our offense is, is they were getting a little bit frustrated, you know, because you kind of get used to, oh, we should be scoring, we should be scoring. I told them, you know, that's, I think, the sixth ranked defense in the country, something like that. I said, this type of game is going to be. And I thought in the first half we – we had a lot of situations where either through down and distance or even just through play call, we had long developing plays, especially in the past game. And, and probably, you know, that's not what you want to do against against this defense because, you know, they obviously they were able to get to the quarterback, you know. And then I think in the second half, we just settled down and started running the plays that we had run all year. You know, we got got back to basics and, and, and just ran plays. We've been running since August. And, you know, we knew, again, we knew, you know, that it, this was going to be a low-scoring game. We knew that. And, uh you know, I think once the kids kind of settled down and didn't expect a touchdown in every play and understood how, how we were going to have to play the game, uh, you know, you could see the attitude of the kids kind of pick up and that's what we need. Yeah. 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 Y
Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, we we we, wanted, we didn't think he'd spiral. I mean, I think no one expects that. But uh, obviously, anytime you play a quarterback, you want to get pressure on him. I think with a kid like him, they got to be careful. And you sell out to get pressure on him, and, and he hurts a couple times just getting out and extending plays and going. And, and that was something that, uh, particularly in the second half, other than their last touchdown, we did a pretty good job of keeping him, you know, keeping him from being a running threat, which really was what you worry about with that kid. He's so good at extending plays. Um, and... You know, I just our secondary. You know, they do a great job breaking on the ball, and I, and like uh, like Ty said, the front seven put just enough pressure on them to create some passes that we were able to get our hands on, and uh, and they've been doing it all year. You know, their defense has been doing it all year. Did you say anything to Chris in the time about? Oh, we do. I keep it light. You know, keep it light. We practice. We we practice that all the time, and uh, you know, we knew we knew he was good. You know, we knew we were well in his range. The ball's right in the middle of the field. He's a confident kid. He's a competitive kid. Uh, we just kept it light and joking around a little bit about it, and we were gambling on whether they're going to take their third time out. And, uh, you, you talk to them yeah, oh yeah, I just I just talk. I said, hey, you know, you practice this every day. You know, you're going to nail this, and uh, you know, I asked, how are you going to celebrate? You know, this is what I talked about. So um, he's just such a, you know, he's such a rock solid kid and a competitive kid. We had all the faith in him. Yeah, I said, yeah. Right. Now I don't mean tonight. I'm on the field. <laughs> Let's be clear about that. <laughs> but. but um, but that's just that's just how this team is. They they you know they don't get too big for the moment. They they keep it light and they love to play. So we didn't want to make it any more than it had to be. And then again, looking at the what a uh, thanks for that. Congratulations. <laughs> so uh, those guys talk about fun, which they should. But you know it's not it's not a fun for them. So how do you how do you handle these guys? Oh, uh, you know uh, we got, I got to look at them. You know I'm, we got to look at the film, see exactly what they do. But obviously this is the the, the gold standard of our level of football. Um, you know, and, and to be honest with you, I think we just beat another one, you know. Um, so they're a great football team. We have to we have to prepare for the environment. Uh, we don't we don't get a lot of uh, environments like that in the Patriot League uh, with the noise and, the, and everything. So we'll, we'll prepare for that. Uh, but I think our kids kind of summed it up. They want to play the best people they can play. We've always tried to schedule as good as we could, can. And, um, you know, they want to find out. And I know this. I mean, obviously, it's momentous. It's a huge challenge. They are, you know, the, like I said, the gold standard of our level. But our kids won't be intimidated. You know, they're going to go out there. Uh, it's not going to be a bowl game. You know, they're going to be out there trying to win it and, and taking it as big, like you said, as a business. Because their coach mentioned that uh, Teddy said to you, I don't know you've ever seen, but he thought the winner of the team would have a shot with the defense and the mm -hmm. team. So that wound up being you. Uh, and I'm sure you currently you do have a shot. Do you feel like that's, that's what it comes down to? Just kind of playing that type of football? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's not always pretty, and, it, and it, you know, it may not make great television all the time. But if you can run the ball and play great defense, you can. You, you're in it. You're in any game, you know. And, and that's that's what we try to do, and and I know that's what they do. So, um, but yeah, I, I think that uh, if, if if our defense can can play like they have and and create turnovers, and we don't beat ourselves, we made a few too many mistakes today. I thought offensively, but if we can keep cleaning up those, you know, you know it starts zero zero. We're gonna have a great chance. Yeah. Um, no, honestly, I think our regular season justified our seat. Uh, you know, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of talk about whether we deserve it or not. I mean, we, we did all we could this season to, uh, to play. I think that our, our kids played, you know, the, no matter how today went, I thought our kids played well enough all year and the team played well enough all year to beat the team. Well, you know, obviously you never want to lose, but even coming out of that game, I thought that, you know, we played it with our backup quarterback, um, and we had it to a one-score game in the fourth quarter. And, they, you know, typical Army, they got the ball nine minutes ago. We never got it back. But, uh, you know, um, but our kids proved at that point that, you know, hey, this is a team. And then the next week they were ranked in the top 25 of, BC, of FBS. And, um, you know, our kids realized that we can play with anyone. You know, physically we weren't overmatched. At the end of the day, the Army game, some of it came down to just mistakes we made. You know, so when you when you can do that with a loss, when you can point it at yourself, you know it's things you can fix. If you're just like, wow, we can't even hang with these people, then then that's different. But I thought that physically against Army, you know, we held our own. I think it really helped us. And I think it helped us playing them kind of before this game, you know, because it, you know, very similar athletes.